Welcome back, guys. Uh, today I'm taking a look at the first public beta released for MX-16. Now, in the past, you know I'm a huge fan of MX-15, <clears throat> so I'm expecting MX-16 um, is going to be as good or better than uh, MX-15. Uh, now, so I'm going to go through the numbers, <clears throat> and then we'll talk a little bit about what I've noticed so far. This is the MX-16 Public Beta 1. Uh, same machine as I've done all of my past reviews. Uh, it does allow you not to install a bootloader, which is great. And that's what I elected to do. Uh, and then I just ran OS Prober and Update Grub and I'm good to go. Now this is a hardware install, it's not virtual machine. My Broadcom was configured right out of the box. It worked during the install, it worked after first boot. Absolutely terrific. Install time was about 9 minutes. My boot time is about 11 seconds. The default kernel is the 4.7 and RAM usage on first boot was 416 megabytes with a 0.05 load average on CPU. Now I'm, we're going to go over the NVIDIA <coughs> install um, situation in a moment. Broadcom Wi-Fi as I said out of the box works great. Uh, did not have to do anything on that. Printer install using this, the usual Debian install procedure for my brother printer. Netflix working uh, as long as you use Google Chrome. The default theme is Adweta XFCE Dark Thick. The icon theme is Papyrus Dark GDK. The default font is Droid Sans 10. Uh, I counted 37. Oh, well, let's 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 review that. Uh, icon sets 14, themes 77, and I just want to check the wallpapers. Let's see. And the the wallpaper selection is minimal, but they're very nice. Three, six wallpapers. Uh, there are probably some Debian wallpapers in another folder. So. There are six default wallpapers. Okay, so the desktop environment is XFCE. The window manager is XFWM4 with the Adway to XFCE dark thick window decoration. Uh, it's a Debian stable distribution using LibreOffice. Uh, Steam is usable. Um, I have not tried Battle.net. I'm going to try the Wine and Wine Tricks uh, install process in a moment. We'll be able to tell if that works. If not, you'd have to use the Play on Linux process. Now, one of the things I noticed about Firefox, which is the default browser, is that for some reason Amazon uh, was set up as the default search, um, which I'm not a big fan of. But up in the top here, Amazon.com search is the first search option, which is unusual and not something I'm in agreement with. I think we should, I, th I, I prefer Google, but Google or Bing or Yahoo, one of the actual search engines versus a commercial search like Amazon. Uh, so let's go back to the NVIDIA install. I looked all through the menu. There is no NVIDIA install option uh, that automates the process. So I think and you know I, as I said I'm a big fan of MX15 but I think the time has come in my opinion for Debian or at least one of the Debian distributions, the like MX15, Antix, Sparky Linux. One of those guys needs to step up and create an NVIDIA 
slash AMD proprietary graphics installer rather than having to use the command line. The problem with Debian is that even their own instructions don't always work. So let's take a look. I'm going to put that in the corner. Let's take a look at what Debian recommends. So if you if you go through you can see that there is a um, backports install. So it says to install NVIDIA Detect and I'm just going to go through this as a an exercise. So we're going to say sudo apt get install NVIDIA Detect. Okay, so it's setting it up. So now I'm going to run it. It's recommended to install the NVIDIA driver package for my particular graphics card. Now, if I go down further, you'll see that there are instructions for Debbie and Jesse for the back ports. I'm not going to go back ports. I'm just going to do stable. Jesse, um, I I'm just want a standard NVIDIA driver. So if I scroll down, it tells me that for plain old Debbie and Jesse, this is what I need to do. So it wants me to use aptitude versus apt get. So I'm going to get in as root because that's what it's telling me. It's not using any sudo. Okay, so I'm going to do aptitude update. And then once that finishes, I'm going to use the install command. And bear with me on this because I just want to go through this little exercise. Okay, so now we're going to try to install the drivers. Well, now it says that it won't install the drivers because there are some dependency issues and it will not install it wants me to review various solutions and pick one well I don't want to do that <clears throat> because if I'm an average user I don't know what the, any of this means so I'm going to close the terminal and I'm going to try a different process. It's telling me I need to install the NVIDIA driver package. So I'm going to go ahead and try to do that. Okay, so I'm going to sudo apt get install NVIDIA driver. And we'll, that's all we're going to do. Now it's saying I have unmet dependencies. Now I've already gone through and installed the codecs that are in the one of the proprietary. If you go into the uh, packages, you'll see that in the if you go down to MX, you're going to see there is a lot of proprietary utilities. MX does a great job with this. App Notifier, Boot Repair, Broadcom Manager, Check App GPG to check for missing keys, um, Codex Installer. This is what I did. I installed Codex. <clears throat> now there's a Backports Installer. I don't really want to use that. A lot of, lot of MX default look, flash manager, find shares, menu editor, package installer. I went into 
uh, uh, Synaptic. There's nothing in the package installer that refers to NVIDIA. So there's panel orientation, remastering, uh, repo manager, select sound, MX snapshot, switch user, system sounds, repo installer, MX tools, uh, USB unmounter, user manager, welcome screen. Let's go into tools. And is there anything on NVIDIA? Live USB, flash, user, broadca broadcom. Codex I did. Um, package installer. I went through that. There's no reference to anything in NVIDIA. So nothing there that will help me install NVIDIA. So let's take a look at Synaptic. So if I do a search on NVIDIA, it will bring up a ton of uh, possibilities. But as a standard user, I'm not really sure which one I should be installing. So, and, you know, I ran up against dependency issues, so I'm not sure what I should be doing for my NVIDIA. Now, for a NVIDIA, um, there is a process that Antix recommends, and I think it's the SGFXI process. I have used that within MX15 and have not had good results. So in the past I've used the uh, NVIDIA driver install along with NVIDIA settings and NVIDIA X config but that doesn't always work either. <clears throat> so I'm not going to do anything with NVIDIA because I don't want to break the install. I don't want to break the install for MX16 beta because I want to go through it a little bit more. And as I said, I'm a big supporter of MX Linux. MX15, 14, tremendous. Antics, I really enjoy. It's a great family of in, of Debian distributions. And so <clears throat> I like what I see so far. Every, there are lots of positives. The only suggestion I can make, and being that this is a beta, I'm hoping that maybe something can be done uh, prior to the uh, initial re release to help the user successfully install their proprietary graphics drivers. Debian is difficult for NVIDIA to begin with. I have been successful lately in Debian testing distributions like the standard Debian testing or Sparky Linux for example. I have been successful using the Debian install instructions. Uh, but for some reason, MX is giving, it's becoming a little bit problematic with NVIDIA. So if maybe run with the Dolphin, uh, if you see this, um, maybe you can shed a little, a little light on what's happening with NVIDIA what is the recommended install procedure for MX16 going forward? And is there anything that can be done to automate the process? Make it a little bit easier for someone to step into MX16 and get their uh, uh, proprietary graphics installed. So I'm going to uh, end this video on that note. I do like what I see. Um, but I am making some suggestions uh, on perhaps helping to automate or at least clarify the NVIDIA 
uh, graphics driver procedure. So that is it for this video, guys. Uh, please, uh, thanks, thanks for stopping by the channel today. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you soon. Take care.